Anderson Beal Body Shop in Santa Clara, California. Owner David Mello surrounds himself with motivated, well-trained staff and prides himself on running a process-driven, highly productive shop with a reputation for integrity, organization, and community as well as industry involvement. When I purchased the company in 1989, we were processing about 50 to 60 cars a month. And at this point, nine and a half years later, we're doing an average of 175 cars a month. So our sales volume has more than doubled. The number of employees has more than doubled. And we are uh, consequently a high production shop at this point in time. When I purchased the business, this business focused primarily on German cars only. And then expand, I expanded the market to doing other European cars and makes and gradually going into the uh, Japanese luxury car market, Infiniti and Lexus. We work with multiple DRP programs, and really in the last five or six years, we've found ourselves working now on every kind of car. The square footage of our facility is right about, it, counting both levels, is 13,100 feet. And our shop floor production square footage is really uh, right around 9,600 square feet. We do operate on a very tight schedule. We don't bring cars in on Monday and deliver them Friday. We bring cars in every day. So we, we do use multiple shifts. Our day shift is, of course, our primary shift. It begins at 7 in the morning and runs until 3.30. And the evening shift that begins at 3 o'clock so that there's a uh, half-hour overlap between the technicians. So we're processing um, 8 to uh, 10 cars a day. We do a lot of things to ensure that our customer has a satisfactory experience dealing with our company. Uh, first of all, we try to be aware of what customers' needs are. We try to contact our customers uh, every other day and let them know the progress on their car. Uh, on some lengthy repairs, every other day can be too redundant, and so we have to modify it from there. But for the average repair that's here for uh, really three to six or seven days, most of those customers uh, find that to be kind of reassuring. We give to a customer when they leave our shop, particularly, and it doesn't have to be a DRP customer, but they're given a, a portfolio that has a, a kind of helps resell them on our company, as well as a brochure, the business card of the estimator that, that uh, handled their repair, and we offer a lifetime written warranty. So they're given that warranty all in the same packet, and the warranty is explained to them because uh, they're not always so sure about what they're getting in the fine print. And what we're trying to do is reassure them that the repairs are guaranteed for as long as they own the car and that we'll be here to take care of them. I have a core group of uh, technicians that have been with me for, um, gosh, probably the whole eight or nine years that I've been here. And as that core group had began with really two or three guys, and now I'd say it's uh, out of 14 metal technicians on that side of the shop, Really, I'd consider uh, uh, three-fourths of them to be part of the core groups. Uh, one thing that has served me really well my entire life, as well as my business life, and so what I mean by that is both business and personal, and that is uh, operating with integrity. And that's more than just being honest. I think it's something that uh, it becomes incorporated in the repair process. It's incorporated in how you treat your employees how you even treat your employees, families, and your customers, your vendors, all of that. So if you enjoy a good relationship because of the integrity that you bring and the consistency that you bring to uh, this workplace, uh, you'll find that everyone enjoys that, from the tow truck driver dropping the car off to the parts delivery person to your most valued employee. And uh, that's probably one of the things that I would say I, I enjoy the privilege of being able to maintain is a high level of integrity in uh, both my personal and business life. And uh, I enjoy seeing it spread to other people, meaning the, the employees that are here. Sometimes when they come to work here, they wonder what's going on. Um, and it doesn't take them long to uh, find out that what's going on is just what they observe the truth.